YouTube, what's going on? If you're new here, my name's Roger. I own a company called QVO Tactical where we make holsters and gear and also film content for this channel. Today is Friday, it's a little afternoon. Uh, here in the shop getting stuff done. Lots has been going on this week. Lots of stuff getting shipped out. Uh, if you guys follow our Instagram stories, you know that we went to the hockey game last night and we go to every home game. Uh, John and I actually scored fourth row seats for only 60 bucks. We typically buy our seats right before the game, but ended up, uh, the Knights ended up winning it in a shootout in overtime. It was a super exciting game. Anyway, I'm about to head down to Ventura Munitions. Uh, got some new stuff in. Definitely want to show you guys that, so let's head down there. All right, we are here at Ventura now. You guys all know Mikey. What's up, guys? Mikey got a package in from your day. Look at this, guys. Woo, fancy, fancy. The new Zev OZ9. They sent me this, this is awesome. Uh, we'll be definitely doing a review on this. Um, yeah, this thing feels like the new thing this year has been heavyweight heavy, guns. Heavy, 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 heavy nine millimeters, man. X5, the yeah, STI, they... and now this, having that steel chassis in here, kind of uh, making it a, well not kind of, it is a modular setup to where you can change out the different grips, which they sent me a compact one as well, so we definitely throw that in the review also. But yeah, man, this trigger, digging it. It feels just smooth. So, review will be coming. Um, you guys all know me and the 1911-2011 thing that I love so much. And one of those things is the grip angle, which this has an extra straight angle like a 2011-1911. So, But we will get into all of that during the review by talking about how to send a Magpul. Uh, I think they're called like, the Docker Docker, case. Yeah. yeah, this thing is dope. Makes you want to step my packaging game up. <laughs> But yes, this is coming uh, very soon, as in probably, if not the next one, the very next one after that. So thank you, Zev, much appreciated. Dan, you're the man. All right guys, we are back at the house now. Uh, you guys might have seen these photos right here. But yeah, since picking it up from Ventura, we've already changed out a bunch of stuff, put the compensator on, uh, I had a Trijicon SRO, uh, a spare one laying around because I actually won one in a raffle. And then my Surefire X300, I actually had base plates from Zev that I got a while ago. Um, but yes, the weight of this versus a 34 with the same exact setup and mag uh, is, I believe, uh, eight ounces uh, heavier. So for me, I, like I said earlier at the shop, I've been sure I'm digging the heavier guns. Um, the Additional weight is just keeping the gun shooting much flatter for me. Uh, I'm going to be posting a review soon on the STI DVCP. If you guys, um, yeah, DVCP. If you didn't see uh, this video right here. where I did a bell drill and like 148 that's because the gun just stays so flat when you're shooting it because of the weight um, so hopefully this is very similar maybe it's like a perfect balance of having a gun that's not as heavy um, but it's got a little bit of weight to it uh, anyway got all that stuff done I actually made an Instagram um, TV video it's about four minutes long but it talks about the holster fitment for these so if you are somebody that is running the um, OZ9 from Zev. It will work in a holster, especially if you're running a weapon light. Uh, actually, just check out the video, guys. I'll show a little bit of it here. What's going on, guys? Roger here with your weekly holster public service announcement. Uh, I'm happy to say that we just recently got the new Zev OZ9 in shop. I get a lot of emails, a lot of DMs about if this gun fits in our Glock holsters. So I figured let's make this video for you guys. Here is our secondary on the waistband holster for Glocks, uh, 9 and 40 caliber to be specific. Um, this is cut at the 17 length. Here is a 19. As you can see, fits nicely, clicks in place. Like I said before, you have your four points of adjustable retention. So I'm happy to say the Zev OZ9, boom, good to go. 
Because of these four points of adjustable retention, it will allow the holster to grab onto the trigger guard appropriately. Um, the trigger guard is similar enough to the Glock that you won't have any issues. Try to get up there for you. So yes, you can order the Glock model holsters and they will fit the Zevo Z9. Um, obviously order the size uh, that correlates with the model Zev you have. If you're running the compact one, get the 19. If you're running the full size, get the 17. You put a comp on it, get the 34. But if you check out that video, you're going to see that if you have a holster from us with a large weapon light, it'll probably fit a variety of guns. Um, in addition to that, the Zev OZ9 without this X300 is working in regular Glock holsters. So you guys just putting together a Wingman 2.0 that she's shipping out. Yep. So, other than that, guys, uh, I'm actually going to end this vlog and edit it right now and get it uploaded. So, as always, I uh, appreciate you checking out the video. If you like what you saw, please give us a thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing as we post several videos throughout the week. Um, if you want to support our content, check out our Patreon link down below. Uh, Patreon members, the guys on our Patreon squad, they get early access to videos, uh, content, special discounts, and we do monthly contests for giveaways. Um, this month we have a cool contest going on with the vault -Tec Life Pod that I'm giving away. And then we also give additional uh, like holsters and gear throughout the month. But yeah, if you wanna check that stuff out, check out the Patreon link down below. And again, as always, thank you for checking out this video.